Aha! Got you this time, Editor. Well, at least it's just a pie this time. Oh, crap, it's cherry pie. You win this round, Editor. <laughs> Expected me to make a clickbait prank video? Does that thumbnail look like Sonic Boom Rise a lyric to you? Don't worry, my subs. I hate it when people do that too. And as a fellow victim of such a horrid trick, I plan to go against the YouTuber Norm once again and actually do something entertaining. That something, if you didn't read the title already, is just mess around, goof off, and throw away every last fucking shit I should give to my main quest. The game gave me this neat little script after the tutorial, but fuck that noise. I have the controller, which means I control that smexy piece of ones and zeros awaiting my input. You may be confused by what I mean, so here's what it takes to make the list. No side quests. Sure, most of them are not needed to get to the end game. But most of them also require you to do something constructive with your time. And that would go against the whole point of moving off. It has to look stupid for me to waste my precious time on these methods of being a lazy fuck. Finally, it has to be fun. What's the point of goofing off if I immediately want to go back to actually doing my job as the main character of the week? Same rule as usual with these countdowns. One entry per franchise, and these are my opinion. My personal ways of goofing off. If you have your own ways, put it in the comments. I'm actually curious who does what. Now grab those pies, place those whoopee cushions, slap on your best jester's hat, and prepare to bust a gut. <laughs> Editor! just look at your in-game companion and think to yourself, I would smack you if I could. Well, I have the answer to your frustrations. Friends, say hello to the one, the only. <laughs> okay, who ordered the wrong box? Hey, Donald. Remember those few times you didn't heal me? No! Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Time for some punishment. Yeah, didn't feel too good, did it? Imagine that. But ten times harder, coming from a fucking dragon. And after said pummeling, you get your heart ripped out. Maybe you should just slow down and think ahead about some of these things. Shut up, Goofy. You're almost as dumb as he is. I gave you those ethers to recover my MP. Not dipshit duck over here. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you both. Always prioritize the main character. Noni. Oh, son of a lark scene. Look, Donald, Goofy, I love you both. Your shenanigans were the best form of comedy I could get back in my day. Goofy, with your constant slapstick. And Donald, with your easy-to-trigger temper. But guys, we're fighting the living embodiments of darkness here. Could you just try not to mess up? Do you have to ask? 
Remember when I said my friends were my power? I was referring to Riku and Kairi. <laughs> This isn't a spoiler, I swear. Ah, Persona 5. A disturbing dive into the deepest desires of desperate denizens who deserve to dwell in the devil's domain. That's a lot of D's. I could try to bond with my confidants, make some thief tools for the next big heist, or even go into mementos and do some exploring. But no one will get closer to me anytime soon. I have more than enough lockpicks to open all the chests in the next palace, and it's raining, so mementos might screw me over with weather effects. So what can I do? I have some time on my hands before Joker goes to Sleepy Time Junction. I need to do something impressive. Batting cage? Nah. Stay too long in the bathhouse? Nope. Talk to Morgana about his feelings? That's a big ass no no. Hmm. Wondering what to do is making me hungry. Forget being a phantom thief. I'm going to be the new Hamburglar. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? That, my friend, is a tower of awesomeness. By the way, yes, this was a side quest. However, once you've overcame every beefy challenge this fast food joint threw at you, you have the option, or in my case, the privilege, to take on the meat titan just for kicks. Sure, they give you some healing items when you choose to do so, but I'm here for the show, not the dinner. Seeing Joker scarf down this behemoth of a burger is simply entertaining to me. Look at the people around him. They simply can't believe their eyes. Look at them. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. God, Joker, I knew you were talented, but save some for me next time, will ya? You know, before this, I was fearing for my heart. Now I'm fearing for my fridge. I've been waiting to talk about this series. There have been many overworlds, hub worlds, sandboxes, whatever the fuck you want to call them, in video games. And yes, pretty much all of them have ways to just mess around. Exploring Peach's castle in Super Mario 64, traversing Isle of Hags in Banjo-Tooie, pretty much the entirety of any Saints Row game. However, these places are missing something. Something stupidly awesome. I've got it! A lightsaber wielding weeb riding an oversized clunky anime as fuck motorcycle. Hmm. Nah, it's still missing something. Something. But what? <coughs> if I don't have enough cash for this, I will gladly sell you my soul. Don't worry, I know a guy. It could be arranged. Not only can you explore this big ass sandbox, now with an actual sandbox, but you can also channel your inner anime badass by making awesome jumps, defying grav- <laughs> Defying grav- <laughs> Defy- <laughs> Defying gravity itself with relative ease. Okay, maybe it's harder than it sounds, but even failing a jump is fun. What with the cartoony sound effects and the mildly annoyed civilians, riding this thing is just fun. Speaking of which... 
Hey, Bishop. I left Spell Tiger on the opposite side of the city from my current location. Could you get it for me? Thanks. Travis! Ah, oh, what would I do without you, Bishop? Travis! Well, shit. Guess that answers my question. Oh, great bubble dreamer. Please share your bubbly wisdom with us. The bubble dreamer has spoken. All hail bubble dreamer. This guy's crazy, alright? Let's be honest. He's cuckoo in the coconuts. His insanity also makes him a pretty good storyteller. Just grab any character, or character skin, you wanna know about, pull his majestic roadblock beard, that'd give the completionist a run for his money, and he'll give you a bit of background on the character you're playing as. From praising the schnoz of a teensy to giving Rayman some fashion advice. I'm sorry, what? The Teensies have a Rayman fan club, and their president is a Rayman cosplayer. I wonder where they have their meetings. If it's in the land of the livid dead, I'm not coming. Whoa, Bubble Dreamer, chill out. Maybe an evil clone, but I'm sure he has feelings. Huh, so Rayman 1 is canon to this. I thought this was a reboot of the series. I wonder what the old Toad has to say about Dark Glowbox. I haven't seen him since Rayman Arena, and he's not looking himself these days. I gotta get the rest of the elect dudes, huh? Oh, great Bubble Dreamer, give me strength! Eh, close enough. Look guys, it wasn't what we expected, but at least it wasn't Sonic 06. Listen, I'd love to help the resistance bash some bad nicks today, but you're gonna have to wait for me. The reason being, my outfit. I need a new style. So if you could just be patient with me, that'd be great. Okay, I've got my outfit and I'm ready to kick some bad nick butt. How about you guys? Guess I'll get my victory party outfit then. Look, I don't care what anyone says, I like Sonic Forces. Sure it had some problems, classic asts, but Modern Sonic was okay, even if his stages were kinda short. And oh sweet chaos, let the fans rejoice! We can finally make our OCs in a Sonic game. Well, this is not the available species, but still! Not only can I create Saber in a Sonic game, but I can potentially make almost any character as a Sonic character. I've spent hours playing with the character creation in this game. I've made Rachel Alucard from Blaze Blue, Joker from Persona 5, Coco from Crash Bandicoot, Knights from Knights, 
I actually brought Bark the Polar Bear back. Take that, Sonic Mania, you damn tease. Hell, why should I stop at game characters? Let's add Scruff McGruff, Indiana Jones, and... Wait, what the fuck is that supposed to be? I don't even remember making this abomination. Who did this? Hey, Saber, you like my creation? Kent, you made this? Yep! This thing looks terrible. What is it even supposed to be? You and Sonic Boom rise a lyric. How dare you. April Fools, bitch! That's how! Woohoo! I'm Saber the Wolf, and if you'll excuse me, I've got some monkey business to take care of. <laughs> Come back here and take your pie like a man! You never take me alive, Foxtail! <laughs>